Hey, what is going on, everybody? It is Joey from New England Sports Cards, and today, coming at you guys with recent pickups, number 17. Um, so, pretty nice week, a bunch of decent stuff, nothing crazy, no $100, $150 cards, but um, just a bunch of, you know, $50 things, some nice PC ads, um, just a nice, nice little week overall. So, let's just hop straight into this. So, first off, I don't know if you guys saw this, or a, a few people did, I, I know that, but... I don't know if everyone saw, I did a Chrome update mega box break on my channel yesterday. Um, it wasn't great. Um, it wasn't terrible, though. We, we did all right. Um, and uh, we I also did one on my Instagram. So I thought I'd just recap them. So in case you missed it from yesterday, you can see it here. So this is the base action, Harper, Bregman, Maguire, Cespedes. Some decent cars here. I love the look of Chrome, obviously. But um, a lot of these star cards I put in mystery packs, like Ichiro. That's a nice card. Um, of course, I just threw it on my desk. Um, but a lot of uh, important announcements that will be coming to the channel soon. And I'm prepping a giveaway for you guys uh, for 70 subscribers. I know I, I was promising one for 50, uh, but it just totally slipped my mind. And I didn't even realize we hit it. And now we're at like 70 or something like that, 69, 68. Um, and I'm getting a really, really nice giveaway coming at you guys. Also, we're going to get a break mat. Uh, my logo, I be, I did get a nice new logo. It's going to be going on my break mat. I'm going to be getting business cards, hopefully some other nice custom things. So a uh, lot of new changes coming to New England sports cards. I'm really excited for this, and I will keep you guys posted. But let's just keep going with these Chrome Update Megas. Um, so a couple of decent ones. McKay's a nice one. Um, Sitsugo Solak. Nice Nico and a Nikino. This was from my first box, I believe. I know that. Nice Gavin Lux, Decades Next. Always like a trout. Uh, and then these were our hits from the two boxes. We got a Kyle Lewis Chrome Update rookie card. A Jordan Alvarez, Decades Next. That was a good one. A Tatis, $34 million man. A Soto. And uh, my favorite card from the break was this Trent Grisham rookie. Um, true rookie card right there on the Chrome. Uh, I'm a big fan of Trent Grisham. I think that he'll have a pretty solid career. I don't know if he's ever going to be a superstar, especially on a team where, you know, there's going to be a, a really good player in Tatis there for, you know, 14 years. But, um, you know, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how he does. And then this was a lot pickup from uh, Jack Sports Cards. So really nice kid on Instagram. I bought some low-end stuff from him. Here's an advanced stats to 300. Some uh, nice turkey red rookies here. Devers for the PC. Bunch of these Walgreens yellows. I think this lot was like three dollars. It was a pretty good deal. Um, there's another one of those Kyle Cricks. Uh, got a Kershaw yellow. Um, this Griffey was a good one. That does like five bucks on eBay. Uh, got a couple of Murphy base and the Stadium Club uh, Silver Wave. Murphy, Dylan Cease. Um, those are kind of guys that I don't necessarily officially PC, but I like to collect them. I have a lot of their cards. I think they're going to be pretty good, and their stuff is super cheap right now. There were a couple of basketball cards. Kawhi Leonard, first year Clippers, Culver, Johnson, Tybal Pink, uh, Alexander Walker, Pink, Aaron Nesmith, uh, Peyton Pritchard. Uh, got a Kevin Porter Jr. Optic, and then uh, I guess the best card from that lot, it was only like 11 bucks. was this Brendan McKay season ticket auto from 2016. Uh, Panini Contenders Baseball. So a pretty cool lot pickup. So thank you to Jack on that. Really appreciate it. Um, always love to see those uh, those cheap lots that I can flip or just stash some whatever I want. Um, so, yep. Then we picked up a big lot of autos from uh, Ben Schwimmer's baseball cards. I needed a bunch because I was on back order for my mystery pack. So I needed to buy some stuff. Uh, pretty quickly it gave me a good deal uh, and I have way more than I needed so I sold out I sold it out on the packs I got a made um, and then I just put in all the autos or the guaranteed hits that are in there and then I had a bunch left so I don't know what I'll do with these I'll probably make a second wave of, I, I mean I've sold I've sold about I think 40 of my $25 packs um, so I don't know when those are going to be coming back because they are kind of a lot of work to produce um, but I have like a three row box full of rookies and a bunch of these hits so I don't know what to do with them um, but got a nice, uh, this is the only basketball card and there's like one other football card in there. Um, a select Devon Reed RPA from select to 99. Steven Gonslaves Chronicles Auto to 199. Uh, Thiago Vera dual patch RPA. Brett Jackson, Robo Garcia Chrome Auto, not a terrible one. Uh, nice Abraham Toro. Uh, Adam Kolarik, Red Prism Auto. 
Jake McCarthy for Spelman Carmato. Says, says he was a first round pick. That's decent. The only football card in here. Kyle Kemp, Leaf Metal Draft. Where is this from? 2019 Leaf Metal Draft. James McDonald. I mean, some of these, these were less than a buck a piece, or I think it was $36 for 35 bucks. There's not 36 in here, but as I said, I, I put some of them in the packs. But I mean, there's some random stuff in here. 2009 Upper Deck. Uh, Josh Stowers, Sim Travis. I remember when he was a big deal for the Red Sox. Fernando Rodney, that's a cool card. Jay Thompson. AJ Cole. Domingo Santana. Lucas Ekreg, Ergreg, Urseg, I don't know. Riley Pint. Sean O'Sullivan. Levi Kelly, Bowman Chrome Auto. Miguel Gomez, Tops Chrome Auto. Uh, Cody Scarpetta, Scarpetta, First Chrome Auto. Uh, Ryan Messenger, Prism Auto. Travis Snyder, Prospects Auto. Seely Mattias, Pretty View Auto. Will Toffee, First Bowman Paper Auto. Caleb Ferguson, Spectra, Rookie Patch Auto to 99. Um, oh, these are the hardest cards to read. Nick Howard, Aaron Schnuck auto to 100. Nick Prado put paper auto. Max Scherzer auto to 99. Um, Dennis Santana auto and the Thomas Nito dual patch auto. So, some random cards, but then there's some better ones like you know, first Bowman autos and Bowman chrome autos and tops chrome autos. So, it wasn't terrible. I was pretty happy with a lot for less than a buck a piece. I could probably get 60, 70 bucks for that if I really went through and sold everyone. I doubt I'll do that, but I'll put them in mystery packs. I'll I'll find something to do with them. Uh, and then next, pick these up in a dollar sale with uh, Chards Cards. Um, really, really nice guy. There were a lot of people that gave me a lot of great deals and were super nice to me. Gave me a bunch of free cards as well, so... I was having pay issues with my PayPal, so I wasn't able to pay him immediately. And then uh, finally I got it back up and running, and he was like, oh, yeah, no need to pay, um, which was super nice. I was like, are you sure? He said, yeah, of course. Um, so thank you so much to uh, Charge Cards for the for these. They were uh, – I did not have to pay for them, which was totally unnecessary. Uh, so got a Jordan Yamamoto, Sepia, a Ramon Laureano, and a Corbin Burns. I think all three of these were 2 bucks. So some rookies that I like there. It's from ATA Sports Cards. Kevin Durant and a Nick Claxton Prism, two bucks on that. I'll take that. Uh, my first wit, uh, my first wit, Bobby Dalbeck, not Bobby Witt. Um, my first Bobby Dalbeck Series One that I picked up. It's not the first that came in, but it was the first one that I ordered. It was like six bucks. So nice rookie of Dalbeck. Uh, another random act of kindness here. I came in tenth place for a Raz, so I did really badly. Um, I did not win, so. Uh, retail Rippin, who was running it, it, was for a bunch of Kobe Whites, and um, he, I, I was like, jokingly, I was like, oh yeah, are there any prizes for the last place? And he said, oh yeah, sure, I'll send you something. I was like, oh, no way, and it was it was just a super nice, uh, super nice exchange, so thank you so much to Retail Rippin for this. I really, really appreciate it. Super nice Kobe White arriving now, instant rookie. One of my favorite rookies, he went to UNC, so that's cool. And then another nice, uh, nice act here, so this is from Bold Baseball Cards. I was in a Raz of his, I came in last, or I came, I did not win. He said to everyone in the group chat, DM me your addresses, I'll send you something for free if you did not win. So that was super nice. Got this Tristan Cassis Tops to you 6 Mini. Um, so one of my favorite players uh, in the Red Sox system, Tristan Cassis. So that was very cool. Um, and then grabbed these for five bucks, I think. Dalbeck and Mountcastle. Definitely take that. Um, this was another Dalbeck that I bought. This from Per Cards. So I'm just stacking up. Um, I'd love my my end goal. By the time I kind of I slow down on buying, like like for example, I was on a rush where I was buying all of you know Brewster Gratterall's 2019 Top Series two rookies, all of his color, and then I kind of slowed down. Um, so I'd like to get maybe 25 of these if I could. I'd like to have a big stack and then some color. I do have some color, but I'd love a couple of lower number parallels. And if I could, if I can find it, the printing plate or something like that, but. We'll see what happens. This took forever to come in the mail. Taylor Horton Tucker, blue velocity from Optic, which was like six bucks. Uh, Gratterall for, to four ninety nine, three dollar eBay pickup. Sky blue. So you guys see, I mean, I get a lot of different packages, but most of them are just cheap cards like this, like three or four bucks. Um, another. These were both cheap. I bought these on the same day. Some very very cheap by now. So you're not gonna find these silver rookies for two bucks shipped. So that was pretty nice. Uh, that silver rookie of Tremont. 
and then a uh, Tremont Waters Red Ice. So that was super nice. Hoping he's going to get more playing time um, on days when Kemba's out because Kemba doesn't doesn't usually play back to back days. Um, so I'm hoping that he'll he'll get some opportunities. Um, you know, because Jeff Green's been playing so poorly, uh, it's really going to be Pritchard um, and. Uh, Sorry, not Jeff Green, Jeff Teague. It's really going to be Pritchard, and then they don't have too many options. Carson Edwards, I'd love to see Tremont maybe get, you know, 10 minutes a, a game. I think that would be really cool. So hoping that he'll uh, get some more opportunities soon, but keep on going. Brewster Gratterall, Refractor, right there. From one's best. Gratterall negative. This was two shipped, so that was a really nice deal. I love these negatives. Uh, this was a weird, so this was kind of a weird experience. Um, this Devers, Kyle Martin, Rookie Stars from Heritage Chrome to 569. So I love these Heritage Refractors. But um, what happened was he, uh, the, the package said it was delivered. And I went to check my mailbox. And I was confused because I had already gotten my mail that day. And it wasn't there. And I thought it might be stolen or something was up. So I was really nervous. Um, it, it was only $6, but I don't like, you know, to have... I'd like to get my card that I paid for. So just like anyone would. Uh, and then the next day it showed up. So I don't know why it had said it said delivered on eBay. It said I got an email that said it was delivered. Uh, but it wasn't there. So that actually also happened with a couple of other cards like this Gratterall Future Stars that I'll get to in a little bit. Um, that said that it was delivered the day before it actually came. So I don't know what's up, but... That was a little bit odd. Uh, and then this is from, I think, Next Level Cards. I think that might be his username. He threw this in for free, which was very, very nice. Uh, Bobby Dalbeck, First Bowman Chrome. For the PC, I only have two of those. I mean, I have, like, four or five of his one-of-ones, and I only have two First Bowman Chromes, so um, I need to pick up more of those. Uh, Duncan Robinson, Silver, one of my favorite NBA players. I love Duncan. Uh, he's a great, great shooter, um, so that was super nice hoping he uh he's had a slow start i mean his season he's not had a great season hoping he can uh get hot like he did in the bubble last year so nice duncan robinson silver right there that was like three bucks so that was a good deal and then a uh brewster gratterall immaculate collection of 49 the rpa that was a nice little deal um and speaking of gratterall tremont waters and tevers and dalbeck i'm gonna be starting a new series um coming out probably in two or three days um, I'm going to be uh, doing showing off my PCs. Uh, I have four PCs. I have Brewster Gratterall, Bobby Dalbeck, Tremont Waters, and Raphael Devers. I'm going to go over um, all of my PC. There's a lot of cards for some, so I'm going to have to flip through pretty quickly. Um, but I'm going to be going through over four videos over probably like two weeks. I'll be going over all of my PCs. Um, so just to get you guys a little bit more familiar with who I collect um, and what do I, I enjoy for my personal collection. So, uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Bobo Silver, really, I think he's really underrated. I really like him. Um, so this was $30, even though it is an 8. Looks undergraded. Centering's off left to right, but still a pretty cool Bobo Silver, PSA 8. Um, and then, so this was a this was kind of a funny story here as well. So there were a bunch of kind of weird instances. So I bought this for $40. I got someone sent me a link to this, and I pounced on it immediately. I th thought it was a really good deal. It was not. I scrolled down about three cards on eBay and found this for 25 bucks. So I was pretty annoyed, but I submitted an offer for 20 and it got accepted. So I was like, well, I guess I have two now, even though I paid double what I did for that one. So still, they're both cool. I really like them. The gold parallels from 2021 Top Series 1. And then the guy that I got him this for 20, which was, this was a good deal. That was not a good deal. Um, he also had these for two bucks a piece, which I grabbed the base and then my first six to Sanchez. So I love, I have a ton of paper because I did, when I did my case break, a bunch of people didn't need their base. So I just put it in a box. I might donate it. I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I, I'm considering completing the set or, and giving it away or something. I don't know what I'm going to do, but, um, I just have a ton of base. So I'm considering going for the set. Uh, and then this is from Western Connecticut cards, my boy Max. We made a bunch of deals. Alex Verdugo Sapphire, bought that from him. $2 hit draft action. It was loaded. Soto Green and an Andres Munoz to 50 from Bowen's Best. Um, he threw this in for free with because I had a big package coming from him. Uh, a Dylan Cease Blue Wave to 75. That was pretty cool. 8 of 75. Uh, and then uh, this was a nice one. I traded a big lot of low-end football cards, um, stuff that I do not need that Max can get. Max does a lot of sales, so uh, more sales than I do. So he could probably get good money for those, um, way probably a lot more than this card is worth. But 
I wanted to pick to just take one card instead of big lots of stuff that I don't need. Um, so nice uh, Taylor Trammell. Bowman Transcendent Auto, numbered out of 75. So it has some scratches on the case, but not a huge deal. 14 of 75 on the gold framed auto on a $20,000 case. So pretty cool. I like Taylor Trammell a lot. I think he's a good player. So I was very excited to pick this out. I think it does like 40 bucks. Um, and then uh, grabbed this from Max. Kendrick Nunn, 2019 Donruss Optic Hollow. PSA 9. I think this is mislabeled. It's supposed to say No Name Hollow, but, you know, whatever. Cool Kendrick Nunn right there. Big fan of Kendrick Nunn. Um, I have his mosaic, the 20. I have some nice stuff of him. Some other optics, so. Um, I think that this is a really undervalued card, being a No Name Error, so I think that if you are looking for a cheap, pretty low-risk investment, I'd look into Kendrick Nunn. He's getting good opportunities with the Heat. Goran Dragic is getting old, so who knows? In a few years, he could be a starting point guard with, with Tyler Hero, and that could be a pretty dangerous team. Um, so that was a pretty cool uh, Kendrick Nunn pickup right there. And then the bigger card, so I just was using this really as a night, uh, so I didn't reveal everything else. Gratterall Future Stars, it was two fifty. I overpaid for it. It's a 50-cent card, but it was. I just wanted one because I don't have any coming. I have a couple coming in, but I just wanted one now, so I grabbed it. Um, so Gratterall Future Stars. Uh, and then this was a steal right here. Uh, Flip Flop Graffer, shout out to you. Um, he uh, sent me the link for this on eBay. People are always sending, I always say, if you find any Dalbecks or uh, or Gratterals that are good deals or that you think I'd like, just send them over or tag me. Um, and uh, I'll look into them. And I, I really appreciate it when they do. And he sent me this one. Uh, Dalbeck Green Ice to four ninety nine. Got it for 25 bucks, which was a great deal. This does like 40, 45 bucks. Um, super cool looking card. Centering is horrid um left to right and top to bottom it's not great but still sweet looking card of bobby dalbeck uh, and then this one wanted to give an extra extra big shout out here mike the indians card dude thank you so so much really um he was so nice to me i had reached out and uh was asking if he wanted to uh if he wanted to make a trade because he had this bobby dalbeck mojo auto that i really uh, really wanted um, and, uh, he, he said, sure. And so I showed him some pictures of some stuff that I had and he wasn't really interested in it. And he said, you know what? I'll just send this to you. So I was like, wow, no way. That is, are you sure I can still send you stuff? Um, and he was like, no, 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 I got it. Just, uh, just, you know, be, be a present, be present on our YouTube community, comment on our videos. Um, just, uh, be a part of the YouTube card community. I said, of course. Um, and so thank you so much to Mike. It really means a lot to me. This is an awesome Dalbeck, obviously never leaving the PC. Um, always going to stay in my collection. Um, so yeah, make sure to go check him out. Uh, I'll link his channel in the description. Um, and, uh, I'm always going to try Mike, if you are watching this, I am always going to be try to as much as possible, uh, be on your live streams, be watching and commenting and interacting with your videos and everybody else in the card community. Um, just, uh, building a, a community of, of, uh, collectors. So thank you again, really means a lot to me. Um, so that is super, super cool. Uh, and then to continue, uh, grab this for 35 bucks. Um, has a chip in the back, which I didn't know about, but not that bad. A flawless RPA of PJ Washington, numbered seven of 15. So that was a, this was a pretty good deal. These flawless cards are clean from a very expensive product. Um, so, you know, being such a loaded rookie class, 1920. PJ Washington really went unnoticed. I think he's, I think he's really, really good. I think him and LaMelo were going to be a good duo. Um, so I grabbed this on card patch auto seven of 15, and then got this Brewster Gratterall one of one printing plate rookie um, from Bowman. So this was $30. Um, so this was a pretty good deal. Uh, I sadly missed out on the platinum of this by $1. Ended at 3803 And my bid was 3703 So that really, really hurt. I don't know why I didn't bid 40 because I, I don't know. But um, I really wish that I had gotten the platinum. But still, got this awesome plate. I love this. Um, I now have a like six or seven grad or one of ones. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll go for the rainbow. Maybe I can eventually acquire the one of one uh, platinum, but who knows? So nice looking uh, grad or plate right there. And then this was a nice little uh, package from 
Zagros Tanner baseball cards. So I was in a break with him. 2021 Top Series 1 Hobby. Um, Brady Singer I got. I My pick team was the Braves, and my random was the Royals. So I got Brady Singer, Chris Anderson, Chris Anderson, Ian Anderson, and then um, got this uh, nice Christian Pache, my first Pache. So that was a nice one, the Christian Pache rookie card. Uh, and then we made some trades. There was a bunch of stuff involved. Bo Auto, Bobby Witt Jr. Auto. Um, and I got this from him. Elo Jimenez, Finest Auto. Rod Acuna Tops Update. And a Juan Soto Tier 1 Auto of 150 I moved this already. I traded it for a for $60 and a uh, Gratterall McKay Dual Patch RPA from Flawless, uh, which I've wanted for a really long time. I got that from, from a uh, Cars 1.0 Cruise, so um, thank you to him on that. That will be coming in, in the next uh, few days. So, uh, you know, I probably lost that deal a little bit, but um, I already had a Soto, so I don't really need to. And then this is from uh, DC Cards. Let me actually put that to the back. Did not mean for that to happen. And then just Soto. All right, um, so this is from DC Cards. We made a couple of trades, uh, or I made one trade, but he threw this in for free another super nice gesture i've had a lot of awesome people today um lots of awesome gestures this week and some really nice people so i bought this in a live sale for five bucks that was all i was able to buy i was only in for a few minutes um and he just said you know what I just uh i'll just send it with your package i already had this on the way so that was super nice of him right ryan oh i cannot speak today rj barrett prism silver um from prism draft picks and then the trade i gave him a jordan alvarez sterling auto to 125 um uh, which I probably lost the deal a little bit, but got this pretty nice Luis Robert SP. Um, so I really have two high-end Luis Robert cards. I'd love to add more because I'm really high on him. Uh, but now I have the gold and the SP, um, a bunch as as well as a bunch of Series 2s. So um, hopefully I can pick up the uh, the uh, an auto of him. I had one on the way, but the, the guy that I traded with, with uh, backed out, so that was a bummer. But I uh, got this nice SP right there from Topps Update. Only does about 60 bucks, but... You know, hopefully it's going to go up. And then you guys, I'm sure you guys saw that. But uh, this was a nice, this was a nice one. This was pretty expensive, 65 bucks. And it might look pretty boring, but this is actually a really special card to me. I've been looking for this for a long time. Raphael Devers Heritage SP Action Variation Rookie. So these are really hard to find on eBay at a good price. A lot of them are crazy overpriced. Um, and then as a 9.5, that's basically impossible. These Heritage cards are really tough grades. Uh, and a true gem, 9.5. 9.5 centering, 9.5 edges, 9.5 corners, 9.5 surface. Um, so this was a super nice one uh, right there. The Devers SP, 65 bucks. Um, I think it does a, like 55 raw. So I think that 65 was a really nice deal. Got this from my guy, JC Trading Cards. Um, so thank you so much for that on the awesome, awesome Devers 9.5. Stay in the PC for quite a long time for sure. So really excited to uh, pick up a nice Devers for the collection. I hadn't really picked up anything big of him. I do. I finally picked up something huge of him that's coming on eBay, um, but I needed to pick up something nice of him. So I grabbed this Heritage SP at a good deal. Um, and then finally, last card, I got this in a kind of hit draft slash Raz. Um, it was $20 per spot. Um, and then uh, the top spot one and the bottom spot one, and you had a choice of six cards. Um, so the top spot got to choose between a Kyle Lewis auto, Gavin Lux auto, uh, Spencer Torkelson, Bowman's Best, uh, Cracked Ice, Zach Veen, Sapphire, Zach Allen auto, Mike Soroka auto, and they chose the Kyle Lewis auto. So me being in the, I got the last place spot, I got to choose, and I took the uh, Gavin Lux Cracked Ice auto numbered at a 23. So here it is from uh, Panini Contenders Optics. So these are first off the line. These are very tough pulls. Um, in These were only in the exclusive first off the line boxes, and uh, they are the kind of chrome parallels of optics so um got this for only twenty dollars number at 23 i think it does double that or more um so big thank you to big d's big hits for this he runs some awesome hit drafts and razzes so uh gorgeous gorgeous gavin lux a uh, contenders optic rookie ticket on card auto too so that was super nice um 
So yeah, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching another pretty long video. Um, but you know, gotta go through all the pickups, of course. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the 70 follower, 70 follower, 70 subscriber giveaway coming soon. And I will see you guys later. Bye.